Welcome back everybody. My name is Taylor Martin. This is the best damn EDC. And a couple months ago, I talked to you about five new things in my EDC that kind of changed everything for me. And one of those was the bum bag from, well, Blue Ridge Overland gear, but this was a collaboration between Carry Commission, my other company, and Blue Ridge Built. Uh, and this thing goes everywhere. Jordan behind the camera is wearing one right now. He carries this thing everywhere. As I mentioned, like all of my friends have them now too. Uh, I love this thing, but I also wanted to talk to you guys about what's inside it. So, with that said, this is what's in my bum bag. And with that said, let's do the damn thing. So just to get this out of the way up front, uh, merch. I've been asked a lot about merch because I really truly haven't updated my merch offerings in like three years. And you guys have made it very clear you want the hats. I've been wearing a hat like this in like all of my videos for a very long time and not offered it for sale. So that's gonna change very, very soon. Uh, this hat won't be in this color. It'll be more like the one that you've seen, more of this kind of orangey tone. Uh, so hats are coming soon. This is the same thing but it's more of a blackout and yeah, two hat options are gonna be available very, very soon. I don't know when, but we also have a shirt on the way. Just says best MEDC on the front, little shield logo. And on the back, it says no safe Queens. These will be available first at Blade Show exclusively and then they'll be available. And then they'll be available on the website after Blade Show. That's what I'm told. I can't promise they'll be at Blade Show, but if we can, we're gonna drop them at Blade Show first. So if you come to Blade Show, come by. There's an exclusive booth where me and Jeremy both will be. And uh, you can pick up a shirt, hopefully. Hopefully, there'll be other best MEDC gear for sale as well. And I'll be handing out goodies. That's it, that's all I need to get out of the way. Also, this cool shirt, Carry Commission shirt, they're available. You can buy one from us also. Lots of cool things. Oh, bum bag. Um, since we're just talking about things that are available, these will be available at the time this video goes live. So around 2 p.m.? Is that what we agreed on? 2 p.m. Friday? No? 8 p.m. 8? Oh, so you've moved it to 8. Okay, 8 p.m. today, the day you're seeing this video. That's actually good. Thank you for that. Because I definitely wasn't going to make 2 p.m. happen. Thank you. You know me better than I know me. You Love you, buddy. Yeah, I yeah. So here is the bum bag. I, I don't treat the bum bag the same way Jordan treats it. So he wears it kind of as a sling crossbody and carries it everywhere. I don't do that because I really only go two places. Here, my office and home, and that's pretty much it. Sometimes I'll stop in a coffee shop, but I'm not there long and I don't need this, just walking into a place and back out. So Jordan and a lot of other people that have bought them wear them as slings and carry them every day. I might more as I wear shorts and stuff, but my typical carry, I, I have what I need and then this is all like auxiliary, you know, less, often needed stuff. So I actually treat this as a pouch, just an EDC pouch. And I toss this between my EDC backpack and the center console of my truck. So if I have my backpack with me, it's in my backpack. If I'm gonna leave my backpack at home or the office, this goes in the center console of the truck. So I treat it more like a pouch that just has this. And if I wanna throw it over my shoulder and carry it with me, I can. That is probably the big difference between the bum bag and the Vanquist Dendrite I love the dendrite, but it is definitely a crossbody sling. It doesn't really feel like a pouch. It's bigger. This feels just like an EDC pouch that can play multiple roles. That's why I like this thing so much. That out of the way, uh, let's talk about what I have on here. And we're gonna start with this little thing that I have on the strap. This is just a little carabiner from Outdoor Element. Uh, met these guys at Georgia Bushcraft, and these are actually at REI. You can get them on, I think, Amazon, buy them direct, or you can go pick one up at REI. Uh, it's got like a cord cutter or seatbelt cutter, a few other little tools, like a little flat head that you can use there. I don't really care about all that stuff. I think this doubles as a bottle opener. The reason I really like this is it's got a little spark. So you can start a fire with this if you need to, but it still functions perfectly fine as a normal carabiner. Pretty cost effective. I think about $14 and uh, it does come with spare flints, but I keep this on the strap just to be able to clip stuff to it. Uh, we also have obviously a bunch of pat, uh, patches on the front here. Awaken Outdoors, that's Anthony Awaken. Uh, I think this one was from Griffin Co. as well as that one. Rick made these over at Zero Feud, but they're brass and titanium 
uh, patches. That is uh, Bearded Burton, friend of mine, Jonathan, Tough Possum, Song Gang, and Cart Snipe. This came from Tom over at Notorious CDC. And then you have the laser cut molly panels in the front. Uh, I just keep a little mini click from Big Idea Design in there. Fits perfectly. And then I have a pry bar. There wasn't really room for this in the inside and I wanted a pair of tweezers. So I have best of both worlds, a really beefy set of tweezers and a pry bar and it works really well right inside that molly panel and it really doesn't move. You've really got to work to get it out of there. So that's nice, but really clean, simple, easy. And then on the pull strap here, this is a Haterade bead from Zero Feud that is also made out of uh, Turbo Glow. So this thing glows really, really bright if you charge it up just a little bit. Okay, that's all on the outside. On the inside, we got a lot going on in here. I'll try to show it as best I can. Whole lot of stuff. First thing, just to get this out of the way, more Zero Feud gear. I talked about this in that video. Uh, I talked about a little that I keep in here, but it's always kind of in a state of flux. This stays in here. Uh, and this I use as a spare wallet. So I have extra debit cards that I don't use nearly as often on this side. And then these are all like loyalty cards like Costco, Sam's Club. There are some credit cards in here, gift cards that I may get, stuff that I don't want in my wallet that's in my pocket, but I still need. I keep this nearby, so I still have them around, but they're not taking up space in my wallet. Lip balm for obvious reasons. Now I got this thing. This came from uh, Mag Magnus. Yeah, Magnus. He makes all sorts of like fidget toys, snaps, magnetic little, all those little clicker, whatever fidget things. Um, but he also makes utility knives and he made this. I thought when I bought this, that it was an uber minimalist utility knife. Uh, no, it's just a blade holder. And I paid way too much for just a blade holder. Like I wanna say this thing was like $150. I way overspent. I didn't know what I had bought. It was not what I thought, but I mean, I'm not gonna send it back. So uh, now I use it to hold spare blades inside the bum bag. I have a Swiss Army. There's actually two Swiss Armies in here which is a little redundant. I forgot where this thing was. Uh, in fact, I think you were in the office with me the other day. I was looking for this. I couldn't find it. It's because it was in here. I just have a little bit of a grooming kit here as well. Some sliver grippers, little small tweezers. These are not nearly as beefy as the others. Uh, and then some monkeys nail clippers. I love these things. Some people hate them because they're so small, but they get the job done. Don't take up much space. So the other thing we've got in here keeps most of the stuff organized. This is a keeper from Blue Ridge Overland Gear that is designed to hold stuff inside and organize it. You can stick this to anything that's hook and loop, obviously, but here's what I keep in mind. I have a Zippo, brass Zippo, and inside here I've got this Thunderbird insert that is a soft flame that may be out. I hear it. It might be wow. close to out. Oh, there we go. So you got a soft flame and a torch. Really cool. Not the most reliable, but a very cool concept. So I keep that in there. And then this is something that I've picked up from maybe the Best MEDC Facebook group. And it's carrying a pair of Knipex and a Swiss Army knife instead of a Leatherman. And why would you do that? In theory, carrying a Leatherman takes up less space, maybe a little more lightweight. I would imagine probably more than these two, but in theory, it makes more sense to just carry a Leatherman, but their thought process behind it, and this is maybe not the best Swiss Army knife to explain this with because it doesn't have a, a Phillips head, but the thought process is if you need to grip something, right? So grip, say a nut, and you have to loosen a screw if you have a Leatherman, you can only do one of those at the same, like at, at a time. So if you have a pair of Knipex pliers, you can hold a nut. And then if you have a screwdriver or this, you can turn the screw and you can do two things at once, which with a single multi-tool you can't do. Very smart. That's, that's a real life use case that somebody has run into and they're like, oh yeah, I need two sets of pliers or a plier and a screwdriver, not just one tool. So, uh, I don't know, it just made a lot of sense to me. So I have since switched to carrying my Knipex with a Swiss Army in this pouch or the bum bag. This is the Huntsman, I believe. This is the one that I used to start a million fires with in the video where I was talking about the Fire Ant, which is the replacement for your toothpick or tweezers with a ferro rod 
and a tinder bundle in the corkscrew. You know I love the Leatherman Ratchet. These apparently, I didn't know this when I made or mentioned them in the last video. Uh, these have been out of stock for a while and apparently will be out of stock for a while, which sucks because it's such a great tool. But uh, I've paired that with the Big Idea Design Bit Bar Inline Max because it holds the Leatherman bits and you can have a ratcheting screwdriver with a whole bunch of different bits in the handle. This is a really good combo. And if you need more torque, you can use a T. Whoops. Really great combo, easy to use, stores away pretty small. And I'm not gonna try to put that back in there because it's, it's hard to get in there when it's empty, much less with all the stuff in it. Uh, this is just a little storage container from Countycom, titanium case. And in here, all I have is most of a Leatherman bit kit. So this has a lot of bits in it. The bit bar inline max has, so you have 10 different bits that you can carry, but if you want Torx, Allen, Flathead, Phillips and stuff, you, you're gonna need more. So I just threw the bit kit inside this titanium case because I hate those little plastic holders that come with the bit kit. And then a flashlight. So I always carry a flashlight and it's usually like a triple A or maybe a double A but I've, I've really found that I don't like having one inch diameter flashlights in my pocket. And this was sent to me by Raylight. Uh, they, they reached out, asked if I wanted to try out some of their flashlights. And I said, sure, I like uh, Raylight flashlights. And this is one of the ones that they sent. This is the collaboration between Vosteed and it's called the Rook. And I really like this flashlight because it's got a super dim moonlight and it's also very bright, really, really quite bright and it works like all the other rock, uh, ray lights. If you've ever had one, this is gonna work exactly how you expect it to. Uh, and it has an 18350 battery inside that is USB-C rechargeable straight on the battery, which is uh, not the most convenient, but it's better than, you know, nothing. Uh, I've come to grips with just recharging batteries and a charger that I have in the other room, but you know, whatever. Some people like magnetic recharging, some people like this, some people like just standard rechargeable batteries, whatever. Uh, I, don't, I don't really have a preference anymore. I just use flashlights. <laughs> and then we have one last thing in here, and that is this pouch. So this comes from Tough Possum Gear. Told you I had their pouch out there. I've been carrying their shoulder bag a little bit lately. Uh, also met them at Georgia Bushcraft, Jay Berry and his wife Bentley. Really nice people and they make really good stuff. Uh, I would say it's really close to on par with some Blue Ridge Overland gear stuff. They make pouches, bags, all sorts of gear. And uh, I bought one of his sling bags at Georgia Bushcraft when I was there a couple months ago, and he threw in a couple of pouches. And these are rough out hook and loop, so you can stick them to the inside of the bum bag or any hook and loop that's soft which is really nice. And I, I just use this as kind of a catch all to hold things. So I've got some zip ties in there because I, I use zip ties quite frequently. Uh, and this, I, I'm gonna come back to this. We've got just a couple of things that I don't, I don't know, I threw them down in there because I'm going camping. Just a little keychain light, fire starter, and a, a ceramic knife. Like these aren't things that are typically in the bag, but they're in there because I'm literally in like 20 minutes going camping. So I, I tossed them down in there. Um, but this is just a pouch that I would, if I've got little tiny odds and ends I don't wanna lose, I throw them in this pouch rather than just down into the bag. And you can take the whole pouch out, which is really nice. This is propolis tincture. Uh, this came from Harden Hill Honey. If you guys remember when I broke down in the mini truck, it was the guy who owns this. His name is Jim or James Alexander. He let me borrow his trailer to tow the mini truck home. And when I towed the trailer back to him, I was like, how could I pay you back, right? Like, uh, how can I pay you back for lending me borrow your trailer? Do you want money? Like, what can I do? And he was like, no, here's how you can pay me back. And he handed me more stuff. And I'm like, that's not me paying you back. And he was like, no, try this out and tell me what you think. And if you like it, tell people about it. Uh, I like it enough to keep it in here because it's awesome. So if you're not sure or familiar with propolis, I'm gonna botch this explanation. But basically this is like honeybee spit wads, sort of. <laughs> so the bees go out, collect pollen, they come back, they make honey, yada, yada. They in their hive to seal up like the edges and keep wind out and rain out and other stuff from the hive. They chew up 
I, I'm guessing it's part of the comb. I'm not sure. And they spit it out and fill those voids with that. And this is that. And you use it for so many different things. Um, cuts, scrapes, bumps, bruises, all sorts of stuff. They, he has a spray bottle as well. And like anytime my throat feels a little sore or whatever, I just spray it in my mouth and boom, gone. Uh, I don't want to say it's a miracle drug. I'm not trying to peddle some sort of like holistic miracle, but there is some actual scientific backing to propolis healing skin and having very positive healing properties for wounds and stuff. And, and many other things like they're looking into it for cancer cures and all sorts of stuff. It's kind of this amazing stuff. And the bushcraft community turned me onto it. Like when I heard about it, I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Everybody's talking about propolis, propolis, propolis. And I'm like, okay, whatever. And then Jim gave me a bottle of it and I've used it. And I cut my finger actually right before blade show. I closed one of those new automatic bench made claymores, the mini, I closed it on my finger and it bled and bled and bled. And for two weeks, it kept just busting open and bleeding and I couldn't get it to stop. And I started rubbing this on there. There's the scar actually. I started rubbing this on there and the next day it was almost healed. It took about maybe three days total after I started rubbing this on there and it was gone. And it was just a scar. It's wild. And that's it. There's nothing else in there. So this is all the stuff that I keep in my bum bag. This is probably the most useful stuff that I would need for just about anything that's gonna happen on a regular day. Uh, so yeah, I don't need all this stuff all the time, but this is, I'd rather have and not need than need and not have. That's, that's really the gist of this stuff right here. So that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, again, bum bags will be available today. If you are interested in getting this bum bag, the carry commission exclusive one, I would act fast because they go fast. Uh, they've been extremely popular for carry commission and thank you if you've purchased one. Oh, I, did, I didn't mean to answer. I was gonna say, can I call you back? Hi, I'm recording a video and I do not have time to talk. Okay, love you, bye. All right, I'll call you back in a minute. Love you, bye. <laughs> That's it. All of this stuff will be linked down below. Thank you for watching the video. I really have to go and so does Jordan. So I will see you guys in the next video and until then, carry on.